Sarah, do you go to the movies a lot? I do actually, yes, I do, Martin. Um, I tend to visit the UCI at Bracknell very often. Um, I love films and things. Okay. Although I haven't been recently because I've been working so hard on Genesis, you see. It's hard work, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll go over to the experts, Tim Postings and Paul Bromley. They're going to review Presser Porte and Shawshank Redemption on today's spot of Movie Watch. Good afternoon and welcome to Aiton Slated, the Genesis Film Review Show. This afternoon we'll be talking about the film Presser Porter and Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman in the Shawshank Redemption. Happening with the review today is Tim Postens. Tim is the second year of H&D Media Production Course. He supports Chelsea, he's got a decent result on Tuesday night and loves Kentucky Fried Chicken and Pork Pies. Um, Predator Porter is the latest film about the man who brought us the acclaimed Nashville and the player and last year's shortcuts set during last year's Predator Porter fashion show centres around a mysterious murder a fashion photographer, two newspaper journalists and spend the entire film in bed together the film exploits the victims of the fashion industry so Tim, you saw the film, what did you think? Um, I thought it was a bit confused the whole film was just really, really confused um, like a lot of Robert Altman's recent stuff there's been a lot of... Um, Lo loads and loads of subplots coming in that just seem a little bit pointless. Fair enough, they may be reality, but as far as the film goes, they're just a little bit pointless. I mean, you've got, basically, you've got your fashion scene thing with all your Anu Kami, um, Marcelo Mastrantani and all that stuff. You've got your Tim Robbins and Jude Roberts basically copied off with each other all the time in bed. Yeah. Um, and you've got Danny Aiello being strange all over the place. It just with seems Terry a little Gar. bit pointless. And ter with Terry Gar, yeah. exactly. It just, the whole thing seems a little bit pointless. But the, uh, the way they look at the fashion and the bitchiness of it all, that's very well done. Yeah, that, that's very well done, but it's like with the play, you're expecting a, a complete documentary style thing about what's going on behind the scenes and exactly what's going on, but it doesn't seem to give you what you want. No, it trails off too often and Precisely, goes yeah. and looks elsewhere when it's I not think, really necessary. I think, being as they were, though they were subplots, I think the Tim Robbins, Julia Roberts thing seemed to work best because it was just so light and fresh and everything, and, mm. and their main theme, which seemed to be like the murder at the beginning, or suspected murder at the beginning, just seemed to lose all its points. Towards the end. Yeah, it didn't really go anywhere, it didn't really follow it exactly. up. Exactly. But were you saying like the Tim Robbins and the Julie Roberts, don't you think there's a waste of two fine actors? Um, yeah, that's always the thing with Robert Altman. You get some, seems to get stars in to do sort of um, menial little jobs, as it were, but, and that sort of detracts from the overall, I don't know, ambiance. And who was your favourite actor? Oh, Richard E. Grant, definitely. The man's a genius. I mean, he was just so camp and so over the top. It was just like with Nell and I revisited. It was fantastic. Okay, and uh, this um, time we went to see uh, Shawshank Redemption, another Stephen King book translated to the screen. This time it's set in a prison during the 40s and the 50s. Tim Robbins, who was in Predator Porter, plays the lead character Andy DeFrenti, who is sent to Shawshank Prison for allegedly shooting his wife and lover. When he's in prison, he befriends Morgan Freeman, who plays an inmate who can get anything a prisoner wants. Tim, you saw the film. What did you think of this? Yeah, um, it was a lot better. It was a lot better than Pret Porto. It was a lot easier to watch, a lot easier. Um, I don't really like these Stephen King adaptations. I mean, I like The Dead Zone a lot, but all the other horror things. This isn't a horror film. Supposed to be one of the better ones. Exactly. This isn't a horror film. This is a straightforward prison drama. It's yeah. excellent. It's really, really good. Um, the f um, performances are fantastic all the way through, and it's just really light, easy watchability. Yeah. But like, um, this is different in a sense. Like with uh, Stand By Me, probably one of Stephen King's other finest mm. translations, based on a short story, not a book. This exactly. is the same with Shawshank Redemption, yeah? Yeah, it seems that all the, one, all the Stephen King uh, novels that are, are translated to the screen, the, the normal ones, are normally the horror ones, which mm. tend to like, lose it a bit, but the, the short story seems to be doing okay, because I think perhaps it's that uh, the directors get a chance to um, embellish on what's happened. Yeah, exactly, elaborate on what's happened already. Okay, um, Tim Robbins in the film itself is up for Oscars. Do you think it sounds a good chance against... The Definitely. I mean, I've, seen, I've seen four to five nominee, nominated films. Um, I think it's got pretty strong competition, but I mean, I liked it the best out of the four. I mean, I, I think it's great. I think it's amazing. And it's got a twist at the end, which you're not going to tell me. It's got a twist at the end, which I'm not going to tell anyone. But, but it's not that big a twist. I mean, they've marketed it on a twist the size of the crying game, but it's not. It's, it's not the build-up's not as much. You know, it's, it's not as good. So rate it or slate it. You definitely rate it. Definitely rate it. Rate the film. Okay. It's great. Whereas Prep Forty Eight um, is a bit sort of medium. It's a, I don't know. I think it probably mediates the rum as well. But it's it's a genuine slate. I think Prep Forty Eight because it's just dull and three hours. So with your two pounds sixty, get down to the cinema. watch Shawshank. Redemption, which definitely. you must do very, very shortly. Which you must do very shortly, actually, man, because it's on limited release right now. It is on limited release. It should be off the cinemas pretty soon because it, it's been out for about a week and a half now. So it's um, it's going to be out for quite a while. But Oscar's coming up. Maybe we'll get a few more people coming in to see it. It's a great film. Mm -hmm. It's really good. What are you looking forward to seeing at the moment? Quiz show. Um, Quiz show comes out Friday. That's the that's the fifth of the of the nominated films coming out. Um, Robert Redford's directing John Turturro. 
Any well, fine. Signs? It's going to be great. It's going to be great. You can see from the trailers. You can see from all the publicity. Based on the fantastic. true story, 21. Based, based on the true story, 21. Yeah. Um, it seems it doesn't seem as important now, but it was uh, the the, uh, the slating <laughs> of um, the quiz shows in the um, in the 50s of America. It should be okay. I mean, it's yeah. a true story, but obviously there's been changes made. Yeah. Know. Let's see how British audience um, adapts to it all. Now, for you Scorsese fans, how many of you? And that's the end. Oh, is that our end? Yeah, that's it. And uh, welcome back. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little movie soft spot. Um, the next piece you're going to see on Genesis is a piece based on the original film, The Big Shave, which is one of Martin Scorsese's first movies. And uh, you're going to see a Farm Tech version of that, um, about beards and shaving and various furry things. So it's over to the big shave. So, what will you be doing tonight? Decided yet? How do I get a student loan? Go to the finance desk. What do I need? You need your enrollment form, birth certificate, bank details and a letter from your LEA. Don't be a party pooper. Got no car. Got no money. You've got nothing then really. Do you feel you have potential? If so, come down to the FCT recruitment centre help is at hand. It's our job to push you in the right direction <laughs> and you'll soon be enjoying the luxuries of life. Walk along the mall, turn left by the refectory. It's up to you. Your exam lasts three hours. Turn your papers over and start now. If you're having trouble with learning in college, either because you have difficulty in reading and writing or just staying calm in lectures and exams, or you find it hard to sit down and concentrate to revise, or you find it difficult to plan your time, then perhaps you need some help. It may be that you have a learning difficulty such as dyslexia. Learning support is here for you. Is everything all right here? Call now before it's too late. This could be you. Join Body and Soul today for only £10. 